Hey BB Warfighters, welcome to February and AP's monthly update. Well it's February and I'm not sure what's going on, but three days ago we had snow down here in the Willamette Valley. It didn't last long and today it's 54 degrees outside. Well, welcome to the Pacific Northwest. On a personal note, I did make it out and sling some plastic last weekend with her team, Fan of Fury. We had a game at Ashen Acres in Canby, Oregon, and the weather was absolutely awesome. It was cold, clear, and most of all, dry. If you're waiting for spring or summer before hitting the field, don't. I encourage you to go out now and play. We can have some very nice days in the winter months. Here at AP.com, we talk about and promote local games. Well, it makes sense because we're based in the Pacific Northwest. However, AP has a much larger following than just Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Northern California. If your browser forms, we have followers from all over the world. Airsoft Pacific went online in 2001. Yes, 20 years ago. This was way before Facebook and all the other social media platforms. If you're serious about Airsoft, I encourage you to become a member of AP.com. It's free, and we allow you to post photos of your loadout and gear. We even have a buy-sell trade form for all of your Airsoft sales. AP has a strong foundation team, so it's almost 13,000 members, and the knowledge and experience they share in our forums. Become a member, post, share your knowledge, and ask questions about the sport. We do have guidelines for posting, but it's mostly related to just being kind and non-judgmental. Just don't be an ass. Other than that, you should be good to go. Okay, moving on to the event updates for February. First up, Saturday, February 6th, and you can set your clock by Camp r and the first weekend of every month, they host a game with a field in Gales Creek. k and Airsoft Rentals will be on site for all of your rental needs. If you're looking for a different replica format to try or bring a friend, k and Airsoft Rentals can fulfill your needs. Camp r and Field Store Airsoft Essentials is continuing to build its inventory. We hope to bring you some details on that soon. Also on Saturday, February 6th, South Sound Airsoft in Washington, in Olympia, Washington, has their first of two games for the month. The second game is on the 20th, so make sure you get both of those dates on your calendar. Back in January, they did a field work day, and I'm super excited to see the changes to the field. It's a bit of drive from Portland, but it's worth the trip. Due to C-19, Washington's requirements, all of South Sound's games are currently preset only, so make sure you do some research before heading out. AP's made this easier for you. Just type in airsoftpacific.com into your web browser, and your questions will be answered. Rounding out the month, Ashton Acres has their Airsoft Mini-Op on the last weekend, that's February 27th. AA offers gun rentals and discounts for early registration. Visit airsoftpacific.com for all the details. As I mentioned last month, there was some breaking news about our sponsor, Thunderkiss Northwest, and their indoor arena, Thunderdome. Not to fret, Thunderkiss is still open and doing very, very well. I visited Thunderkiss last Friday and talked to Chuck also known as Charlie Brown, and got the latest information about their indoor arena Thunderdome. As you will see, this is an emotional topic, but let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Hey everybody, it's Dennis with Airsoft Pacific, and I'm actually down here at the Thunderkiss Northwest LLC with my good buddy Chuck. And um, you have some news, I guess, to share. We <laughs> talked about a little bit on the phone and Facebook and things, and, and a little bit of news about the Thunderdome and yeah. kind of the plans for that. Now we wanted to hear it from hear it from you guys directly on kind of what, what the plans are, what's going on. Sure, yeah. I know you've had um, some questions out on the fields and things like that too, and we've been getting tons of phone calls here at the shop. Uh, basically, it's a, a bittersweet sweet moment where um, we've had to shut down. Uh, we've been shut down since March. We've tried our hardest to you know open up for private games and things like that. The state and county is just not letting it happen. So. Um, you know, we were forced to shut down the Thunderdome, right. that portion of the business, uh, and um, you know we've uh, donated a lot of our props. Oh, well, good. So you're, able, you're, able move, you're able to move that around. I guess yep. we'll, we'll, we'll find out maybe where those ended up at a future date. Oh, definitely. Right? You'll okay. see them. You'll see them out on a local uh, a field here soon. Oh, and uh, good to hear. We've gotten rid of most of the props and things like that too. Uh, everything else is kind of up in the air for. Um, the uh, location and things like that, but uh, right now Thunder Kiss is going strong. You'll always have that local retailer here right. for you uh, in Vancouver, and um, 
Well, you guys, you guys, I saw you just got a big shipment uh, uh, in. So, I mean, I'm looking around the store right now. You're, you look fully stocked. So, yeah, we, so uh, things are going good. I got, I walked in like 10 minutes after 12, right after you opened, and, and there was there was five five customers in yeah, there. Always so, walking in. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've had always had a good uh, relationship with our customers, and yeah. trying to keep stock in right now too. It's a little hard with COVID going on. Uh, you know, distributors aren't putting out as much as they uh, have been. Uh, stock is low in some of those uh, companies, but we always try to keep stuff in stock. Uh, you know, the good uh, new stuff, the goods that you always need, BBs, supplies, green gas, things like that for, uh, you know, all the local players and even uh, out of town players. So. Yep, so uh, brick and mortar store, Thunder Kids Northwest, support your local airsoft stores. Check them out. They have a website. It is thunderkissnorthwest.com. And you can also find links to them on airsoftpacific.com. So thank you very much for the information. Absolutely, we'll stay, Yeah, we'll stay in touch. And all of our friends out there, we'll see you later. Appreciate it. This is sad news, but at the same time, I'm very thankful Thunderkiss Northwest is still around and I will continue to visit the store for my airsoft needs. They are located just across the Columbia River from Portland in Vancouver, Washington. Now looking forward to the AP calendar, I see Civil War 2021 is in March, that will be at Sniper's Den, and Entropy 3000 is in May. We did share some details about E3000 on our January video update, you might want to check that out. Both look to be awesome events. There's also an active forum on AP for E3000, if you have questions, feel free to post them there. Check out airsoftpacific.com's calendar for the latest in airsoft events. Hosts do post throughout the month, so it may not be in time for a monthly video update. It's always important to check back. Well, that wraps up February. Remember for everything Airsoft, from events, forums, airsmithing tips and tricks, hassle-free buy, sell, trade, visit airsoftpacific.com. If you're serious about Airsoft, become a member. It's free to join and post. Well, until next month, be safe, and we hope to see you on the field.